Yo guys, welcome back and today I'm going to be talking about MW3 and whether or not it's original or a $70 DLC. If you enjoy, please like and subscribe and yeah, let's get into it. So, I'll get to the point quickly. I think the reason why people think MW3 is a $70 DLC, that actually saw around, is because people believe the rumours that MW2 would get a year 2 paid DLC in place of a COD 2023. What I mean by this is not that they believed it would happen, it would be more so they thought as if it was confirmed and then them changing it is like a switcheroo of sorts. So I think heavily emphasizing the words rumors there sort of gets the point across better because it was just that, a rumor, it was never confirmed. Uh, it's obvious what's happened is, is that they may have originally planned to do this, but have obviously changed their mind after, well, I'm guessing, if I'm being honest here, after seeing the, the money MW2 made, especially in its launch window, and thought, yeah, yeah, that ain't happening. Um, you know, it's a guaranteed billion. Like, logically, of course, they're going to take it. You can disagree or agree or however way you want, but I guess if you disagree so much, why are you, why are you bothering buying, buying it then? Also, some part of this rumour said that all MW2 maps would be part of the paid DLC, and obviously that's happened in MW3. Now, side side note, in the teaser um, trailer that Sledgehammer re released through the um, WhatsApp phone thing, if you've been looking through that, showing the MW3 remakes, I didn't see Wasteland. Now, fun fact, Wasteland is actually a remake of a COD 2 map called Brecourt, so... Maybe they're thinking original, literally, as in maps that were original that came, that started in MW2, or just maps from the original MW2. Maybe I'm looking too far into this, but yeah, whatever. So, I think that explains most of it. I mean, there's some people who, who point to the carry-forward system, where MW2 weapons, operators, etc. are coming to MW3. I see why some people could be kind of annoyed, but I see it as them addressing the criticism of people saying, what's the point of buying bundles if I can't use them next year? That's me thinking maybe more cynically, but uh, still. I think as a general rule, people should see rumours and leaks as false until confirmed. Radical, I know. But I think most issues and talking points in the COD community could be solved through nothing but common sense. But I don't believe it's a $70 DLC, not because I'm a fanboy or a shill, as I'm sure people who won't like my point here are going to say, because I'm defending COD, because, remember, ranting about how shit it is gets you views, yet you play the game every day and buy it every year after telling everyone else not to do it. Like, And, and they sit there saying that I have to tell everyone that I'm not, but if you were gonna prove a point then why wouldn't you just but just don't buy it i think i believe it isn't a dlc because we're getting a new campaign zombies which we've never had in a modern warfare game and new weapons being added into mw3 outside the mw2 weapons uh, and also we are going to get some original maps albeit not at launch i think the higher point of this video would be think for yourself i mean it's a very basic concept but Basic concepts aren't really accepted by the code community much, especially the loud minority, as I say, which are the people who, most YouTubers, people, just basically people on the internet who talk about COD usually tend to be of this group, grouping. Um, sure, I know there are good ch COD channels out there who aren't always complaining about the game and give criticism when needed, not just pounding developers for nothing. Like, I don't know if you remember... I remember, in, I think, during Cold War's life cycle, there was a time where people were getting angry because the creator class um, menu was, like, the lettering was too small. Like, oh, come on, honestly. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and comment down below what you think about what I've talked about and your thoughts about the question pointed. And, yeah, bye.